welcome to Riding with Duck. So it's a beautiful Saturday, it's 60 degrees, and instead of out riding my motorcycle, I'm inside making a video for you guys. So, and that's, you know, that's the things we gotta do to make sure that everything works out for everyone. So, today, uh, I'm spending a little bit of time, and I probably should put it on video, but it was <laughs> something, you don't always think about recording everything. Sometimes it's a little weird to put your whole life out on the World Wide Web, but I definitely want to share this with you. Almost all of my tools and recommendations for people are ways to help keep you safe on a motorcycle. And it's not always about how to keep you safe riding down the road. Sometimes it's all about keeping your motorcycle safe and you know, making sure that <laughs> you get to keep your motorcycle. Like this video right up here I put together for you was all about making sure that your key fob was right and so that uh, your motorcycle wouldn't get stolen. So, you know, that's always a plus too. Um, I'm so sorry if you get some cars in the background, it's because I'm out in the garage and there are people driving by. So uh, I want to apologize up front for that and hopefully uh, that's not too distracting. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So this video today is all about attaching your tour pack to the motorcycle. And when I originally put it together, uh, Harley offers a quick release for the Road Glide, Street Glide, and Ultra touring models. And so what you can do is you can actually build in that quick release connection to the motorcycle itself and it's just two bolts that bolt in to the fender and then from there what you can do is actually just and i'm going to walk you through that but you're actually just going to take the trunk and fit it in the shoes in front and then drop it down and snap it into place and it's really easy and uh nice and secure and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff and i will give you a couple of tips as we go that I think make a big difference for me. When I was putting the tour pack on, I had to adjust some things to make sure it fit right, and I'll walk you guys through that as we go. Okay, since we are talking about the motorcycle and the trunk, my very first bonus is a wall mount. And I welded this together and bolted it to the wall. And then at the bottom, I made a little U-hook so that I could mount the seat. And this is the hammock from Harley-Davidson, full-blown heated seat with the uh, controls down here on the side for heat. Usually I take this seat when I'm going on a long trip and I'm using the tour pack because <laughs> the solo seat looks a little funny with the trunk <laughs> so i always uh swap out and you know sometimes it's uh, and if i'm carrying the bag the roller bag from harley i have to have this seat anyway so they have something to set the bag on so you know it's the best of both worlds so this bracket is just bolted into the wall at two points one on the top, one on the bottom. And then what I've done is I've spaced it out so that you can hook in the front of the tour pack and then the back of the tour pack just locks into the back bar. Like that. And then you don't have to worry about it. And it gets it up out of the way in the garage so you can pull into the garage and you know you got plenty of space there and when you're not using the trunk it's up and out of the way and not getting scuffed and scratched up and beat up right if you're just sitting it's in your garage somewhere that just doesn't work very well so uh stay tuned next week and i will actually go in and i'm gonna build one of these for my buddy so i will promise to video to that and 
that will next will be next week's video. So when I'm not using these, I actually cover them up and you can take these, these are magnetic and you just slide them right in and they'll lock in place and then it's kind of a decorative piece to kind of hide your clamps instead of having them look like that. You can have them covered up and they're not bad and they're magnetic and you just pull them right on and off and hide them and put them away in your bag if you're not using them or whatever. If for some reason your bracket on the tour pack doesn't line up, it may be because these aren't spaced right. So what you can do is you can actually get in there with a screwdriver right here and unscrew them and flip them around because you'll notice that this spacing on this side is different than the spacing on this side. And it's not a lot, but it's just enough. And the kit does come with some spacers too. So it's just enough to keep it from being lined up. So you might have to swap, flip these two around, or just take this one and flip it. So that it gives you the right spacing from here out. And you might have to do that on both. And all four of these just unscrew from the side. And then you can flip these around or adjust them or do whatever you need to. I had to mess with those to get them to line up because when I first got that trunk, it didn't fit right and I couldn't figure out why. So when you're putting the trunk on, if you have any issues and it doesn't line up with the bracket right, then you need to check that and you can start there. Okay, so all you have to do is put your clamps in the right place and just lift it up. And then you can pick your trunk up and then I try to line up these pieces so that I can just pick it up and put it right on. And the trunk is not real heavy, but it's real bulky. So what I do is I, originally I'll set the uh, front back pad rest on the bags themselves so that I can line up this first bracket and put it into place and then it's really simple because all you have to do is kind of let it drop down and then all you have to do from there is just twist these right here turn it and lock it into place and the original one so down here this just swivels there's just a a screw that goes through the middle here so it swivels and you'll hear it lock into place and then to unlock it all you have to do is lift up on this and turn it i don't know if i can do that and not be in the way of the camera but you're just going to lift up here lift up on this spring-loaded pin and pull the lever here where the handle part is back towards you. Now, what makes this special is the lock. So Harley sells a lock replacement for the lever. And all you have to do is go in here and replace this bolt and then just mount this piece on instead of the black plastic piece on the other side. And then this works the same way, spring loaded here. And then you just twist it to get it off. Um, but this is your lock mechanism here. And then all you have to do is push down to lock it in place and then they can't pull the spring back to get it off. So there's no ability to slide it off. And that will keep your tour pack on your motorcycle. <laughs> because, I mean, you can see how easy it is to get off. All you have to do is release these on both sides and just take the tour pack with you. And these trunks are not cheap. <laughs> so, and you know, and then there's the hassle of having to buy a new one and make, wait for Harley Davidson to make the right color match trunk and, so that's pretty straightforward. But what I just wanted to show you these locks 
So the lock is a real simple setup. So here is the original setup, and then the screw just goes uh, goes just like this, and the screw goes through here, and then you have this spring-loaded compartment piece, spring-loaded bar that you can mo you move out of the way, and then you just twist it. You just uh, twist it out from around the bar and pull it off. And it's pretty straightforward and it's easy to use. The Harley replacement is this setup, right? And so it has the spring loaded here, and then this is where your screw goes. And then this is what the end looks like. And it's got a little lock. And so you get two locks and you get two keys to replace both sides. I only replaced one side because I figured if I had locked one side, then that's probably okay. And it's kind of a hassle to get the key in under the trunk. I just cut my hassle in half and, I only, and I'm only using one, which is probably plenty. But so in order to use this, this is really easy and straightforward. You just take the barrel key and put it in, turn it to the right, and you'll hear that unlock. And what it does is just pushes this spring out of the way because it's a pin that allows you to slide your trigger out of the way so that you can unhook it from the base. And then once, once you do is once you get the once you get it on there and you've got your bar through here, all you have to do is just push down and it locks and then it just keeps you from being able to twist this in order to take it off the bike. So it's real straightforward and it's easy. But I just want to make you guys a real quick video and show you what I found because I think it's a 10 minute deal and it may save you hours and thousands of dollars of problems. So I'm just trying to help you guys out and keep you safe. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and we're done.